Morning, another vlog, Saturday 25th of March, which is officially about a month before opening. And as you can see from yesterday's vlog, there's a hell of a lot of stuff to do. But I wanted to kind of show you a little bit like of how I'm actually keeping on track or how we as a team are keeping on track to make sure we're gonna be open on the day. <laughs> Uh. I might um, breathe it's back ones one day. There's broccoli all over the bed. So we've got this software called Asana. It's a real good, like, dead simple project management software. When in uni, I did. Um, in university I did Microsoft projects and it's really difficult to use but basically we've got all the tasks here so for example if I click on um, my name on the side it comes up with my tasks click on Jordan's it comes up with Jordan's tasks and they're all dated okay so this is like this is quite simple so if we go to like videography we can see different tasks each one has got something different in there and you can put tasks in now over on another software this is called uh, Instagant you can get tutorials online <clears throat> and basically it'll tell you you know how to use it but anyway so the blue line is today and as you can see I've not really scheduled much stuff on today um, one, of the, one of the jobs is what you're going to see in a minute is a bit of cleaning um, and that's it but then as you can see Sunday again there's not many jobs but Monday the blue lines the blue dots are jobs and there's loads of jobs on Monday to get done and that schedules all of the different stuff all of the marketing all of the building work um, the floor getting fitted and for example I know you can't see it but one of the tasks there says book Astro to floor fitter and that's why I'm really relaxed about like knowing everything's going to get done on time um so yeah hope you enjoy the rest of the journey so i'm off to the gym now or the gym to be um to do some filling rubbish in a van that's my task for today and a few other bits and bobs <laughs> Now the battery's charged. <laughs> Morning! Let's go and fill this van, shall we? Ugh. Plastics. Separate plastic. We've got to do separate plastics, cardboard, paper. What's the chair class does? <laughs> It's done. All I had scheduled today was that and a bit of social media stuff. Um, so now I'm headed off to the gym to do legs. And I'm going to go for a run on the beach because, as you can see, it's a lovely day. So this idea of building the biggest building without knocking the buildings down around you is very relevant today. So we're trying to be friends with everybody in the uh, fitness industry, friends with the other gyms, and not trying to slate anybody, not trying to stamp in on, on anyone's other businesses or undercut them or, or, or horrible things like that. There's so much, there's like, it's a 60 billion pound fitness industry. There's so much money available for people involved in health and fitness that we can, um, we can all charge. There's plenty of money for people. There's no need to be, negative towards other people in the health and fitness industry 
Anyway, the point of this little rant is we've just had a comment on the page saying lame from um, someone called Matt Rogers. So we've commented back saying um, thanks for your feedback. Uh, we love all feedback and sorry that you've taken the time or thanks for taking the time and sorry that you've wasted some of your day commenting. Um, you know, good luck or whatever. So we were just positive about it and obviously we haven't taken it as negative. But what we have taken is we're obviously doing something good or we're doing well in the marketing side of things to have attracted attention from people being negative about it. And it's basically fear driven. It's uh, the, 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 the person or this Matt will be fearful that we're going to stamp on maybe he's got a gym and we're going to stamp on his gym or maybe he's got a he's a PT or whatever and he's just a little bit fearful around that. Um, but at the end of the day, it it, it doesn't really matter, we're just positive and I actually posted on my own social media a screenshot of it and said sorry for Matt's pain or whatever the problem he's having at the moment because when you look at the psychology behind haters on the internet it's usually because they've got a negative, something negative going on in their life now or they've got a pessimistic viewpoint. Um, and they need to kind of sort that or fix that first. Um, so yeah, it's no reflection on us. Um, it's quite a, a, a fun thing to, to see that we're obviously doing something right to create that much of a, an issue. I mean, the, the first post obviously got 16,000 views. I mean, <laughs> uh, 16,000 reach. That's probably the whole entire world. I don't even know how many people live in the world. But whatever. Anyway, now it's time for legs. I'm going to train legs um, in a different gym, um, which is a very supportive gym as well, by the way. Um, awesome people, awesome bodybuilding gym. Then we're going to go for a run on the beach. So let's get that done. He's telling me off for walking across the golf course. Not the golf course. <laughs> Should we get knocked out by a ball? I look like I'm about to twat it down there. Stupid, Come on, let's see your skills. Right. Don't fall over. <laughs> over there. Set this fit bit. <laughs> it's a lovely day for a run on the beach. I need to go a bit faster because my heart rate is only 105 and Dean will tell me off. This is really weird to play basketball. It's been about the first time in about 10 years. I used to play every single day in school and used to play for a team. I used to be pretty good. And then I broke my, it's like 10 years. It's more like 16 years. And um, I used to play every day and then I broke my leg in a serious incident playing basketball, but it wasn't playing. It was actually a fight when I was 16 in school. Um, so yeah, bring back some memories. <laughs> 